Hello friends. Today we will talk about our earth's basic ingredients, rocks and soil. Rocks are hard and solid pieces of stones that form a part of the surface of the earth. They are made up of different materials which give them different colors. Hills and mountains are made up of rocks. Rocks are used for constructing buildings. Many historical monuments such as the Taj Mahal, the Red Fort are made of different types of rocks. Diamonds, emeralds and rubies are very special or precious stones. Do you know? Diamond is the hardest natural substance found on the earth. It is also used to cut glasses. Soil is made up of pieces of rocks. It is the top layer of the earth in which plants, tree, etc. grow. It gives life to almost all the plants and animals which live on this earth. Without a rich soil, there would be no life on the earth. The top soil has dead remains of plants and animals in the form of humus. Millions of years ago, the earth's surface was covered with big boulders. Weather helps in the making of soil. Due to the heat of the sun, Rocks expand. In cold weather, the rocks contract to become smaller. When this happens repeatedly, the rocks crack. Rain and snow get into the cracks and break them apart. This keeps happening over and over again. The smaller rocks travel long distance with flowing water and wind leading to the creation of smaller and smaller particle. Thus, soil is formed. Soil has different colors at different places. Soil is a mixture. This mixture has a variety of things in it. To check this, collect some soil from garden. Put it in a glass jar and also pour some water in it. Stir it well and leave it undisturbed for some time. You will notice that different components of soil get settled at different layers in the jar. Soil contains water in it. To show this, take a test tube and put a spoon of garden soil in it. Heat it over the flame of a spirit lamp for some time. Switch off the flame and observe. Tiny droplets of water are collected on the cooler parts of the test tube which shows that soil contains moisture. Soil has air in it. To show this, pour a glass of water on soil and observe. The air bubbles come out and water gets absorbed in the soil. Do you know, the remains of plants and animals which died millions of years ago were buried deep in layers of soil. They have become hard and turned into rock and are known as fossils. Soil is not the same at all places. It varies from place to place and differs in the size of the particles. Sandy soil mainly consists of sand particles. These particles cannot hold water for a long time. The soil of sea beaches and deserts is sandy in nature. 
This soil is not good for the growth of plants. Usually, cactus, apensia, and euphorbia grow in this type of soil. You might have seen a potter at wheel. He makes the best use of clay soil. This soil is made up of extremely fine particles. The fine particles cling to each other on adding water. It is non-porous too. Plants do not grow well in such a soil. Rice crops grow in it. Bricks and pots are made with this kind of soil and then after drying in the sun, they are kept in fire to make them hard. Loamy soil is a mixture of both sand and clay. It has comparatively large particles with porous nature. It can retain water and air in it. It also has humus which makes soil fertile. That is why it is best suited for growing plants. If we grow crop after crop in the soil, the soil loses its fertility. So, manure is added to it to make it fertile and rich. Sometimes, fertilizers are also added to it. The soil has to be properly watered from time to time to make the fertilizers available to plants through roots. Apart from growing crops and vegetables in soil, it is our natural wealth too. A lot of microscopic plants and animals live in it. Soil is a house for millions of insects like ants, grasshoppers, beetles, leech, roundworm, earthworm, etc. Many rodents like rats, guinea pigs, rabbits, mongoose, etc. make their burrows in the soil. As it takes hundreds of years for the soil to form, we must take good care of it. We must not throw harmful substances and waste into the soil as soil is a natural wealth. Let us summarize. Rocks are hard, solid materials. Soil formation has been taking place by the weathering of rocks over millions of years. Soil has water and air in it. Soil is a mixture of gravel, sand, clay and humus. The three kinds of soil are sandy, clay and loamy. Crops grow well in loamy soil. Soil has many uses. It supports plants and animals' life. It is a home for many animals and insects and is used to make pottery, idols, etc.